All right, let's see. Can I do a barrel roll in this thing? Come on, barrel rolls, baby. Oh, yeah, that was a barrel roll. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, I have something very special for you guys, because it is the 100th episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. I cannot believe it. Now, I have, of course, made more than just 100 things in Scrap Mechanic, but this is the series that has really started it all for me on YouTube and creating the videos and keeping the endless scrap mechanic going. So I wanted to do something a little special and that was revisit the helicopter. Now I haven't made a helicopter in a very long time. This is very true. So I figured what better way to do it than incorporate some awesome piston madness inside of it here, which is the latest and greatest thing in the game that we have. Uh, so we're going to be checking out this really awesome helicopter, guys, how I thought it out and the way it works. And we're going to fly it around as well and see just how difficult it might be to handle. So let's get right into it. All right, so I've got a couple of these helicopters spawned right here in front of us. One of them has all of its pistons deployed and the other one is kind of semi stowed away right now. Uh, so we're gonna have a quick look over here at the one that doesn't have anything popping out. Uh, so you can see it has this really nice looking pinstripe pattern on it here. I ended up using the surface panels here so you get this really nice looking stripe effect with the angled lines on it there as well. I decided to go with a glass-free cockpit, so here, if I can just hop up inside, you can see there are two seats right there. We control the entire vessel from the right side here, and you can get a little bit of a look inside at quite a few of the pistons that are used in this thing. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, so there's a few key features that I'm going to point out which uses the pistons, and that is the the landing gear right here that is attached to some pistons. Of course, you can see over on this side we have the center rotor blades. Those are actually stowed away right now, and they also extend as the blades themselves, like you can see right there. There is also this tail fin right here, so this tail will actually extend out, which we'll be seeing in a moment. And there is also two pistons on the back here, which uh, send the tail out and wider uh, for some extra stability. Now this thing is quite zippy in the air, and it is a lot of fun to fly. It's a little difficult to actually handle though, so we might as well actually just jump, jump into this one right here. And that way we can actually bring up the buttons here and the switches, which there are quite a few, and we can check them out. So the first thing we are going to press now, I'm going to honestly tell you guys the key mapping on this one is meh, not the greatest, but that's okay because I remember where they are. Uh, so you press the three key and there you go. That is the blade popping out as well as the tail extending. So we can actually just kind of get a little bit better of a view here so you can see that the entire tail will press up against it nice and flush there and then we can press it and it'll extend out. Now I will mention that you can see right here in front of us on the tail there is a divot. Uh, now I did want some blocks or something there but because of the modded pieces you can see we had to leave a little bit of a gap or else it got stuck for no reason at all. Uh, so let's just kind of get into the helicopter here with our view. And there we go, you can see that those are the main pistons right there holding the entire blade mechanism up. So it's gonna push it all up like this. And so I did end up putting two sets of blades on it because the counteracting kind of gyroscopic effect is exactly what you needed because this thing was impossible to fly with the one blade. All right, so we've got the tail extended. The, the middle rotor is extended up as well. So we might as well just press the one key now and there you go, you can see all of the blades have extended, so they're all pistons. And then over here you can see that is the back tail which has extended out as well. So it, it looks really cool actually to just see your blades disappear as pistons. And back here you can see those widening out. And so 
It looks really cool. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, this is probably like the coolest helicopter I've ever made. So the two key though, uh, that is gonna get the blade spinning. So uh, I might actually quickly hop out of this and move it away from that other one because lots of pistons is a bad thing. Okay, so this one is now a safe distance away. Let's re-extend that right there. Uh, you wanna make sure that that is fully extended before you extend these blades because you will run into some issues. Uh, so we can get that going. And now, of course, like I was saying, the two key is what is going to get your blades spinning. Uh, so this is kind of a tricky helicopter to fly, guys. I'm gonna try and explain it the best I can, but the only thing you guys will be able to do is check it out on the Steam Workshop and try it out for yourself. So, the 5 key is what we are going to use to get your general lift. Now, I pressed the 5 key, and as you can see, we are not actually raising up into the air right now. So, what you have to do is actually press the 9 key. So, there we go. If I gently tap on the 9 key, you can see we will slowly start to rise up into the air. Now, this is me not pressing anything right now. It's extremely stable in its natural state. Once we start playing with the flight mechanics, though, that is when we start running into some issues, and the manual flight control is pretty important. Uh, so I will mention that the 4 key there is the landing gear, so we can actually bring that landing gear right back up into the belly of the helicopter, and here we are, just a bit of a helicopter, kind of bobbing around, almost hitting trees there, geez. Uh, so, the 6 and 7 key are roll control, so you definitely want to use that, because I have A and D set up, so if I press A and D, you can see I can very easily turn myself, like, f from side to side, left and right with A and D, but you will slowly tilt out of axis as you're flying, so if I just kind of tilt into the turn, and then turn like that, you can see it actually is very easy to handle. Alright, so we can press... Oh, actually, hold on here. Before I start talking, I better make sure I am all leveled out. Hold on here. See, this is where it can get kind of tricky. Alright, so we can bring the tail back. Alright, so we are now... Okay, there we go. We're at a relatively relaxed state. Not really. Okay. Okay. There we go, alright, so, the W key is your forward thrust, so if I press the W key, you can see right here, we are now just going to start moving forward. Um, we don't go too fast, because a helicopter, you want to actually lean forward into your forward speed. Alright, so let's try and just kind of easy does it, turn it around back towards the center of the map. Alright, there we go, so as you can see, very finicky to fly, but man, is this fun. All right, so let's kind of get some speed here and kind of see what we can do. Uh, the 8 key is what will bring your nose down, and the 0 key will bring your nose back up like so. All right, so let's see now. I'm going to try and land onto one of the mountains here. Let's see. I don't even know if there's actually a mountain on this map here. Uh, okay, there's a bit of a mountain over there. It is good enough for me. I am going way too fast. That is the wrong button. Alright, guys, you gotta be careful in these things. It is... It's hard to fly. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy. Alright, so far so good. Now, see, I can just kind of let it ease itself in. Okay, let's get that landing gear back out. Uh-oh, I have some glitched landing gear. That is not good. And <laughs> that was a rough landing. I'm smacking the tree. Uh-oh. That is not good. So clearly this thing is not the easiest thing to land, uh, but it is definitely so much fun flying it. Now here is a really funny thing that you can do with this build. When you turn the thrusters off, you can see your blades are spinning there like they normally would, and see how they are slowly slowing down. Now if we bring them back in though, you can actually see the blades will speed right back up again. And it's really cool, because those will keep spinning for a while, but you can see them spinning, and you just press the 3 key, and slowly they will land. Uh-oh, not quite. You may, you might have to spin them again a little bit, and <laughs> there we go. It's a little rough, but it, it gets the job done. Uh, so that is basically the piston helicopter, guys. This was so much fun to make. It had been so long since I had made a helicopter, and of course, uh-oh, I just screwed it up. There we go. Um, it's uh, It's been a while, like I said, since I had made a helicopter, so this is something that I really was excited to get to. A hundred episodes of Scrap Mechanic Creations, guys. I am 
totally blown away right now. I cannot believe we have come this far. Uh, so thank you guys so much for tuning in to this nonsense, endless scrap mechanic that I have to offer for you guys. Uh, it's definitely been quite the journey so far, and I have a feeling there is still a lot more scrap mechanic to go through. Uh, so thank you so much, guys. Like I said, for uh, making this so much fun for me and creating this amazing community. And of course, the scrap mechanic game in general is just something that I have been so passionate about for the last year. And I just have been having a total blast with it. Uh, so thanks, guys. Uh, so this, of course, was 100th episode. I am going to try and stay creative with what I'm building as well, actually. So, uh, of course, stuff like this. Who knows? I'm always looking forward to more suggestions from you guys down in the comments. Uh, so, if you want to see something made in this game, let me know, and I might end up making it one day. Uh, so, of course, guys, if you did enjoy this piston helicopter, or if you did enjoy the video, then maybe you might want to drop a like on it. Maybe even leave a like for the 100th episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. Uh, and even more people might be able to see and hop onto this crazy game we got going on here. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in to Endless Scrap Mechanic. Make sure you subscribe as well for the Endless Scrap Mechanic. Uh, there is always going to be more to come on the channel here. Uh, so that is going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks again, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now. All right, let's see. Can I do a barrel roll in this thing? Come on, barrel rolls, baby. Oh, yeah, that was a barrel roll. <laughs>